Now, a few years ago, I met a friend of mine, and she's an awesome cook, and she has taught me quite a few Indian dishes, and I now cook them at home, and I've really enjoyed learning how to make Indian food, and I've fallen in love with Indian spices, so here's a few that I keep in stock. This is a mango powder, then um, tenderly chicken. We actually barbecue this in the summer quite often. Then, um, of course, you have to have Kitchen King. And um, there's a Marsala. And um, my friend taught me how to make a mean chicken biryani. And um, I've used that pretty much almost the whole bag of cumin seeds. Then um, I love coriander too. This will be the next one I look for in my perfume. Um, but my favorite has to be green cardamom. See, I've finished up pretty much this whole bag. And I already have a backup jar. And oh my gosh, when I smell green cardamom, it just puts me in a happy place. Um, so since falling in love with Indian spices, uh, not just in my cooking, but then I started craving the smell and wanted it in my perfumes. And last summer, I went out on search of a uh, um, summer Indian spices type of scent. And so that leads me to today's review. I wanted to do it on a perfume that can um, be easily found and more accessible to most people. And um, I didn't want it to be uh, an overpriced niche that may be hard to find. But this one is a good one. It's um, fairly easy to find, pretty reasonable, and um, it's unique and interesting and different. And it was my scent of last summer. I wore it pretty much all last summer, and I really enjoyed it. So, this fragrance is Marnie from the Italian fashion house of Marnie. And um, look at the beautiful bottle here. Isn't it fun and just modern and whimsical? And um, it very much reflects what the uh, fashion house does. I'll include a few images here of um, their fashion. So as you can see, they're colorful and uh, fun, modern, and it's not to be taken too seriously. And the fragrance, which was the first one, did not disappoint. It, was, it came out in 2012, and the nose behind it is Consuelo Castiglione. I'm hoping that I pronounced that correctly. Forgive me if I mispronounced it. And um, the notes in Marnie are bergamot, pepper, ginger, pink peppercorn, cardamom, um, rose, cinnamon, bark, patchouli, incense, vetiver, and cedarwood. So, um, basically what it is, is a uh, um, rose, incense, spices, and woods fragrance. It starts off with a, a bright citrus, then the rose comes in, and the cardamom in this just cools the rose down and gives it an air of coolness. Then the spices come into play and the spices here are um, more sheer and light kind of spice. And the incense is just a light smoke. And the woods just helps to ground it and warms up the base. Now, um, 
Marnie is very wearable. It's modern and chic, and um, at the same time, it's it's whimsical and fun just like the image of the fashion house actually and it's unique from what's out there on the shelf it's not a sweet floral it's quite satisfying in the summer to wear because there's heft to it yet it is still sheer and um and just it has that spice in it that's more interesting than your average citrus in the summer. So if you get a chance to try it, I hope you uh, will sniff it out. You may enjoy it as much as I have.